everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what's in our autumn celebration basket. This is something that I love to do um, at the kind of transition of each season. So I tend to do a basket like this for midsummer, for spring equinox or Easter, for Christmas and also for the autumn equinox. And in it I just have a mixture of craft things that I'll be doing with my boys toys um, little activities and things like that it doesn't have to necessarily be extravagant in any way some of these things are really inexpensive some of them we've already had and it's just a good excuse to go through some of our toys and find things that are seasonal and appropriate for the coming months it's also a lovely way of reminding me of crafts and things like that that i want to do with the boys and I tend to put some of those uh, craft items in the basket as well as a gentle reminder to myself uh, to do them with the boys. So this is our basket for this year. This beautiful trug is from Bergen and Ball. I'll link it below. And I got this for Easter, I think. Um, and I'm just reusing it. It's something we use all the time. The other basket that I like to use is our little berry picking basket from Olia Ella, I believe it is, um, which I bought off Conscious Craft. Um, but this one is perfect for both the boys because it's a little bit bigger um, and as you can see it's got some really lovely autumnal and spy things in it and um, the thing that I've done a little bit differently this year is I've placed the basket on top of one of these amazing circles by the Waldorf family and um, I bought this off I think Myriad Toys uh, Conscious Craft also have this in stock and it's just beautiful all the way around it it has a sort of spiral pattern and it starts off in September with apple picking and then um, uh, Michaelmas um, moving on to a Halloween and lantern festivals there's pheasants and it's really magical there's so much to see in these beautiful spiral rings and I think the idea behind these is that they're to be placed on the table and you can put uh, candles on top and move the candle around, or you can you know, place a vase of flowers on it or something like that. So a lovely addition to a nature table or a centerpiece on a table. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with ours. We might put it as a background drop for our um, nature table. But what I've done with it this time is I'm just gonna place our basket on top and place it on the table as a kind of like, a celebratory uh, treat for the boys and we can use it in lots of different ways but yeah I love this um, I almost didn't buy it but then I thought actually it's either now or never my boys are four and two and I think they're just the perfect age for this I love the big moon and the black cat it's just gorgeous and it's very obviously very walled off inspired but the illustrations are very gentle and everything so I love that so that's the first thing that we have this year and a real treat because they're about 30 pounds they're not that cheap but they are lovely um and then yeah let's dive into the basket i'll show you everything we've got and hopefully it'll give you some ideas these baskets can be done anytime they don't have to be at the beginning of the season or the middle or the equinox um you can even do one as like a halloween treat it really is just a lovely little way of sitting down and being mindful about the season so it's for me as much it is as it is for the boys to be honest um okay so diving in We've got a, a, a return from last year. This is a wooden uh, mushroom nutcracker. I bought this off Amazon. I noticed they also stock these um, on, I think, Myriad or Conscious Craft. Um, but yeah, really, really cute and a lovely thing to have for autumn when all the nuts are in season. I popped in this little felt pouch that I've made Toby for his birthday. I thought this would be perfect for putting in our seasonal flower fairies. It was very quick and easy to make and perfect for a toddler. So I love the Ambrosia Flower Fairies. They are so cute and dinky and sweet. And I've got two in the basket this year, one for each of the boys. The first one is the Hazelnut Fairy. And as you can see, he or she has got like a little nut that they're holding on to. Very, very charming. And a new one for this year is the uh, Toadstool uh, Fairy, who has this gorgeous red hair. And yeah, she's very sweet, a lovely little mushroom hat. And what's lovely about these, um, as you can see, they've come in different skin tones. So that's the lightest, um, and that's the next lightest. There's also the darker skinned ones, which are almost always sold out, actually. Um, and yeah, there's about maybe five, four or five skin tones. 
Another thing that I love to do in our seasonal celebration baskets is use it as an excuse to add a few more pieces to our Holtz Tiger collection. And um, we love the Holtz Tiger brand. And um, there's another brand quite similar called Ostermeyer. And basically they're wooden figures and animals, really chunky and sort of handmade and painted, really, really sweet. Um, and we've had the squirrel from last year. I love the squirrel. So I actually had put that away and I'm bringing that back out. Um, for story time and I also got the large hedgehog who is very very cute very simple but perfect for this basket there's also a smaller one of this guy as well so this is the larger size um, which I think is perfect for small hands um, so yeah now we've got two of those in there um, and we'll use those for stories and poems and also just free play I've also got another piece to go on our Grimm's celebration ring, which as you can see, it's just here. I'll show you it to you close up. Um, so this is what we've had in our celebration ring for September, just a kite, an apple, and a bee. And then what I do is each month we change over the items. And for October, we'll have a witch, we have a black cat, and I think we might have a moon or something already. So this is a new figure for us, the witch, and she's really cool. She's got like a golden ball there and she's a lovely dark blue colour with gold dots and um, so she's going in our basket as well. I really like to include a little postcard. These are so inexpensive and sweet and they make a great addition to a nature table. And um, This one is by Elsa Besco and I think I got this from me, the Myriad or Conscious Craft and it's just a sweet little autumnal scene with falling leaves so perfect for October and November and yes I just add that into the basket and yeah we'll use this as a kind of display piece um, in our, our nature table for October. Um, then I got these really fun wooden mushrooms from Amazon. They're two piece so that they're, they're sort of stuck on there with glue I think so they're not all one piece just so you know um, and they're just they come in different sizes I think there's five different sizes in a packet or seven maybe I've just put three of the biggest ones in so they're not a choke hazard to my youngest um, and we will probably paint these at some point um, during the month as a kind of craft activity as you can see they're quite nice and chunky and big so perfect for little hands to paint and decorate and they were quite inexpensive they're about five or seven pounds for the set and I just thought those were so cool and it'll be so nice to decorate these with different designs and colours. And so I put three of those in our basket. Also, I always put in play silks into the basket. And again, this is a great opportunity to add to your collection if you need a couple of more play silks. I've reused a couple of play silks that we had from last year. Um, again, I'm pretty sure these are from Myriad or Conscious Craft. I mean, and everything I show you is either from Myriad Toys, Conscious Craft or Amazon. Um, but this is a lovely um, mushroomy taupey colour, um, almost like a latte colour, and it's very, very pretty. And this is on the slightly smaller size. I think this is probably like 40 centimetres squared. And we also have a gorgeous autumnal orange. Um, so I thought those two were perfect for autumn. The play silks we use for all sorts of things. They're great for dress up. They're great as um, play things. You can, you know, lay them on the ground and put your figures and things like that on top. Um, so they're just a really nice thing to have as part of like open-ended play. Um, they're great for peekaboo for babies. Um, so yeah, lovely sort of tactile, beautiful toy. Um, very Waldorf inspired as well. Another craft item are these gorgeous hanging leaves. These are from Conscious Craft and I'll um, show you close up. They, they come in different, I think they're all different shapes. There's oak leaf, maple leaf in there birch leaf and they've all got a little hole drilled in them and I thought these would be great fun as an activity so we could paint these, string them up with some string and hang them on a branch. Um, so I got two packets, one for each of my boys and I think they're going to love them. Uh, I love that they're made of wood so they're quite hardy for small uh, hands and toddlers um, and yeah they just look so much fun. I think these are going to go down a treat and also we'll be able to reuse these next year. Um, we'll be able to use them as a decoration even for our Christmas tree. So um, I love, love those. And they were like three pounds each, which was really great. I also got some of these sweet pressed maple leaves. Um, they're quite small as you can see, but at the back, you know, it gives you ideas of using them as decorations for cards and things like that. 
and they were very inexpensive, maybe two pounds. I just couldn't resist the beautiful colour of the maple leaf. And every year I keep meaning to press leaves and to preserve them, but they change, the leaves turn so quickly here that I don't really get such a great display of colour. I mean, it really goes from green to falling off <laughs> the tree. So I did in indulge myself and got some of these um, pretty maple leaves just to play with. I'll either use them as part of a bit of bunting or I might use them um, in like a craft, like making cards and things like that. Okay, so we're down to the last four items now. Um, I'll show you a sweet little book next. This is the uh, Cecily Mary Barker Fairy Flower Fairies of the Autumn. Basically, there's quite a wide range of flowers, um, like for example, the Michaelmas Daisy, and each one has a little poem to go with it, which is really charming. Um, so it starts off with things like mountain ash, Michaelmas daisy, wayfaring tree, moves on to things like acorn, dogwood, horse chestnut, and then crab apples, rose hips, hazelnuts, beech nuts, hawthorn, slow. Um, so there's the beech nut. And I always think these tie in really nicely with the flower fairies as well from Ambrosius. They sort of, I feel like they sort of match the, um, the poems and the little illustrations quite nicely. Um, so very, very charming and a lovely sort of traditional classic for children. Um, it's something, I think this book has been around for such a long time. Um, so it's lovely to pass it on to the next generation. And those lovely sort of Victorian um, illustrations as well, really sweet. So, and a perfect little size for a basket because as you can see it just goes in really nicely. Um, so yeah, a little bu uh, book is always great. Sometimes we put in things like, uh, we've had the Gerda Mallet Autumn book in our basket before. Um, so yeah, anything kind of like a small board book, a board book would be perfect for um, a seasonal basket. So next up is a really sweet little thing that I could not resist. This is by Papoose Toys and it is a felt acorn baby in a leaf. And I just knew the boys would love this. So there's the leaf and it's got its little sort of kangaroo pouch there. And then there's this little acorn uh, doll, <laughs> it's so cute. And you just slot him into the, uh, into the bag like that. So yeah, and then he's got a little acorn hat. And I just, I almost didn't buy it because I was like, this is something I should really put in a stocking, but oh, it's quite fun to put in the old treat into the basket as well. So. I think this will go down really well and I can imagine this getting so much love and play um, and it's just so much fun with the leaf and though you can pop them in and out so yeah that's uh, another little treat for the boys in their basket. The item are these little mini wooden shapes um, by Baker Ross. So there's loads of different um, shapes in this, there's hedgehogs, leaves, mushrooms, I think there's squirrels, um, toadstools, leaves. And they're, they're quite small, so you can see against my finger, they're quite small. But they're perfect for using on stamps. I'll just show you. So here's an example of a cork stamp with one of those cutouts stuck on top. So if you have any um, corks and hot glue gun, you can stick these little shapes onto a cork and you can use them then in Play-Doh. And it's just like a fun little stamp to have. So um, yeah, I thought that would be quite fun for the boys. We can either use them in like a sensory bin we can use them to make cards or things like that, or we can make uh, Play-Doh stamps together. So um, yeah, and really inexpensive. There's absolutely loads of these in a the packet, so I imagine these will do us for a couple of years. Um, and they're all wooden as well, which is nice. So last but not least is a really fun uh, face paint kit I thought would be perfect for Halloween. It's by the brand Namaki and um, it just looks like this. So it's in like a cardboard packaging, so really environmentally friendly. It's dermatolog dermatologically tested, easy to remove, and I got the colors pumpkin and skeleton. So you see the little illustration there. Um, it's all natural formulation, organic, um, and it says there's enough paint for up to 10 faces. And when you open up the little kit, it comes with the paint and a little brush as well. So we've got sort of like a burnt orange, um, a white and a black. And yeah, I just thought that would be quite fun to do some uh, face painting. And then on the back in here as well, it gives you uh, the little um, instructions on how to do a pumpkin and how to do a, what is it? A ghost, I think? 
a skeleton. Um, so yeah, I thought, especially Rupert, my four year old, would love that. And there was a couple of different kits that you could get. I think there was one maybe that was more like girly, like a sort of a fairy and a unicorn maybe. Um, and there was another, oh, there was a vampire one. Um, and this is the one I liked the most. I thought this was the least scary, so perfect for my boys. And yeah, really sweet. And I think about £11 in total, so not too bad a price. I like the fact it's all organic and natural. I think if I'm going to put that much um, product on my kid's skin, I'd want it to be natural. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So we'll definitely be doing lots of face painting in October. Um, and I think that'll be so much fun for my young kids. So that is everything in our basket this year. I know so many of you have wanted to see this video, so I hope you enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas. I'm gonna go now and edit this video and get it up ASAP um, because I know we're now heading into October, so I want to give you plenty of time to create your own autumn seasonal baskets. Um, as usual, make sure to check out my Patreon page. Um, I'll link it below. It's a really lovely way of slowing down and joining a slow living community. We do things like book clubs, seasonal monthly uh, seasonal planning chats where we plan the month ahead. And there's a slow natural mama e-course in there as well where I teach you how to make lots of lovely um, skincare uh, products for pregnancy or just postpartum and every day. You don't have to be pregnant to use the products. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah, have a beautiful autumn. Bye.